Hello guys, how are you? Hope you guys are enjoying this lovely, beautiful day. I know we can't go anywhere, but sometimes I just like to get in a car and ride. You know, drive around some prospect properties that I want to list for sale. How are you guys doing? Give me a hand wave, a comment. Let me know that you are here. Because as soon as I park, I'm going to give you P Realtors lunch and learn. It's so beautiful out here. It's hot too, but it's windy. guys so we are going to get ready for p realtors lunch and learn all right and also shout out to my home inspectors it is national home inspection month so we are going to continue to talk about home inspection because again that is a very important step of the home buying process and the home selling process so just a big part in the real estate home inspections okay so i'm just gonna wait for some of you guys to join before i begin So again, guys, stay up, stay in prayer, do something positive, okay? Try to kind of stop watching the news and get out of all the negative of what's going on. Hey, how you doing, Derek? I almost had a client for you, Derek. Almost. She decided against the house. Maybe next time. Happy Home Inspectors Month, Derek. Hey, Queen. How are you? So we're going to talk about home inspection, okay? Because, Queen, I know you want this big, marvelous, marvelous house. I already know you want a nice house. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to successfully negotiate that, okay? So, I am parking now. Derek, how is the home inspection process going? Before I get started, um, you know, anything you want to share to my viewers? Uh, Derek, guys, is um, a home inspector. And, you know, I know it's been kind of tough out there since the pandemic and everything, Derek. So if you would like to share any comments or any tips, you know, for my for my viewers, feel free. Okay. All right. So again, we are talking about home inspections again, um, National Home Inspectors Month. And I am going to give you a few tips on how to successfully, okay, successfully negotiate those home inspection repairs. Okay. Um, now, like I said, negotiations on home inspection repairs is a huge step forward in moving towards your home, or it can also be a huge setback, okay? So with that in mind, that's why I wanna to talk to you guys today about successfully negotiating, okay? So the first tip is pick your battles. All right. Now, for many buyers, it can be very, very tempting to just hand the seller a laundry list of repairs. Okay. Pretty much everything that the home inspector puts on the report, right? Um, you know, especially if you've been handed one from the home inspector. So, however, doing that can definitely work against you. All right. Um, on one hand, it gives the, uh, the seller an opportunity to kind of nitpick through your load of, you know, that long list that you have, okay? And they're likeliest to be 
to pick the easiest and the cheapest ones, all right? And plus, it can kind of start the negotiations off on the wrong foot, all right? You don't want to give the sellers an impression that you're trying to take advantage of them, okay? Um, so instead, what you want to do is focus on the repairs that are necessary for you to feel comfortable moving forward in the house, okay? Now, um, it's best to stick to structural and functional repairs, okay? Cosmetic repairs and improvements can, you can kind of take care of that once you get in the home, okay? Um, also, know what's required, all right? Now, if you get an FHA loan, there are going to be certain requirements that FHA uh, typically have before you move into a home. And it can usually mean your structural issues. Uh, water damage is usually pretty much top of the list. Definitely um, termite damage or anything like that. Um, now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the seller will agree to pick those up, okay? But if the seller is aware of certain issues in the home, things like those structural defects or any kind of building code violations, any health or safety issues, they are required to disclose them at any other interested party, okay? So that means if you were to walk away from that sale, that seller will still have to come clean to that next buyer, all right? So with that in mind, you may be in a better position, a better bargaining position, if you prioritize those top issues in, your, in replying to your inspection report, okay? Um, another thing that you can do is you can ask the repairs, ask for the repairs. Um, no, I'm sorry. You can ask for a credit instead of asking the seller to do the repairs. Okay. So that's repairs versus a credit. And um, you could ask the seller to take care of the repairs for you, or you can ask them to give you a credit towards the repairs at closing. All right. So in most case, in most cases, Repair credits work out well for both parties, okay? Um, it could be that the seller is maybe not even in town, okay? Or maybe can't get the, the proper people out to get the job done, but you can. And, and you're like, okay, well, just give me the money. And, you know, once we go to close, I'll get someone to take care of it. So that's another way that you can negotiate home inspection repairs, okay? And um, also, last but not least, know when to walk away. Hey, Lysidra. Hey, Kimmy. Know when to walk away. All right. Sometimes the amount of repairs that a home needs can be extensive for the buyer. All right. Or, you know, like I say, it can be hard for you to handle. So um, other times it can seem like it's impossible for you and the seller to just come to an agreement on how the hand of how to handle it, you know, or you just may have that option to just go ahead and dissolve the transaction. All right. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. All right. Maybe that wasn't the house for you, but that's OK. Don't ever get up. Give up. OK, because if you're working with me, P Realtor, we will definitely just keep the hunt going. All right. So, again, um, don't be too married to a property. OK, I usually tell my clients, let's not get excited until after we go through the home inspection process. Don't tell cousins and aunts and uncles and, and everybody yet until after the home inspection process. Because again, um, it's a, it can be significant for you to move forward with that property or it can be a deal breaker. All right. Um, so again, you guys, Derek Lawson is a home inspector um, and he's giving deals right now with the pandemic, with everything that's going on. Um, he said it's starting to pick up. So people are still buying and selling. Okay. And um, what else? He know most home inspectors are taking the most precautions necessary to stay safe and the people around us. So we thank you, uh, Derek, because we know even though this is going on, people had transactions going on right in the middle of this and um, and we got to move on. OK, so again, like he said, people are still buying, people are still selling and um, call me. All right, P Realtor, I am your expert advisor in real estate. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please share this. Very, very important to my home buyers and home sellers that's out there, okay? Negotiate successful. All right, that's what matters. Thank you guys for watching. Please share. You can also see this on my YouTube channel, P Realtor. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye.